And we're so lucky to live in such a beautiful part of the world, aren't we? Even Definitely. when the weather isn't that good. Yeah, <laughs> hang in there, though. It is getting better this week. I know it is the first week properly of the uh, school holidays, but things will gradually improve uh, this week. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But, yes, the weekend, very unsettled. Low pressure was dominating. This one, though, fairly slack. You'll notice not many isobars on there, uh, so the wind's very light and very variable. And as a result, uh, we saw many of these funnel clouds. This was on Saturday evening from one of our weather watchers uh, at Cromer, but we saw several other reports through the course of Sunday as well. So why with light and variable winds would you get something so dramatic uh, as that? Well, with light winds, they tend to come together in different parts of the region, so called wind convergence. Where that takes place, you get a bit of spin developing in the lower levels of the atmosphere. Now, where you get a shower or thunderstorm that moves over that or develops over that, it starts to ingest some of that spin up into the cloud. And as it gets stretched upwards, it gets tighter, so it spins faster. So what looks like something fairly insignificant near the surface becomes something much more dramatic nearer the cloud base. You get a funnel extending downwards. This is a funnel cloud. When it touches the ground, that's what we call a tornado. And in this case, if it were to touch the water, that's what we would call a water spout. Now, we haven't had as many of those today because the winds have been much stronger. We haven't got that wind convergence today. What we do have, though, is this weather front, which has been giving us a lot of cloud and for many of us, some outbreaks of rain. And some of that was quite heavy earlier on today. And right now, a lot of low cloud mist, damp, drizzly conditions continuing this evening as well. So overnight, we've got a lot of cloud, damp conditions continuing for central and eastern parts. Further west, something a little bit clearer coming in. And here, temperatures could get down to about 11 or 12. But under the cloud, temperatures holding up around 13 or 14. The winds easing down a touch as well. So perhaps a bit of a grey start tomorrow morning. One or two leftover showers. They'll clear away. And for many, actually, not a bad day tomorrow. The cloud will break up. We'll get some sunshine coming through. The winds will be lighter. Still a bit of a breeze, mind you, near the east coast. And temperatures, as a result, will be a touch higher. 19 to 22 degrees, 72 in Fahrenheit. Not far off average, really, for the time of the year. Fine end to the day. Some sunshine for Tuesday evening. But look out west and a much deeper low. A lot a lot of isobars with this one and some rain starting to come in from the Atlantic. So a dry start on Wednesday. But it won't stay that way because the wind will pick up, cloud will spread in and rain working its way west to east across the region. And some of that could be quite heavy during the middle part of the day. But notice the sunshine returns later on, although it will be quite a blustery feel to things even at this stage in the day. Now, towards the end of the week, it's a bit of a battle, really, between low pressure to the north and west, higher pressure to the south. And that will tend to fluctuate day on day. So Thursday at the moment looks mostly dry, a couple of isolated showers, but I think most places dry, 19 to 21 degrees. Friday looks also mainly dry so not bad to end the week Thursday and Friday both days not looking too bad temperatures back close to average as we head into the weekend that low pressure starts to get a little bit closer so an increasing risk of some rain or showers but there will still be some dry and bright spells not a washout by any means and with southerly winds those temperatures might just turn a little bit warmer back into the mid-20s Susie thank you Dan you're so good at explaining things there'll be questions later though won't there <laughs> <laughs> have a good evening see you tomorrow Goodbye. Bye.